The secret is, I once read in a book where it said, when you read a good book through mm -hmm. the second time, you don't see something in it that you didn't see before. You see something in yourself that wasn't there before. You see, when I read this, I create a, a, a greater awareness. Let me just read you one line out of here, two lines. Okay. Hill said, the missing link in all systems of education known to civilization today may be found in the failure of educational institutions to teach students how to organize and use knowledge after they acquire it. He went on to say that we should understand the real meaning of the word educate. It's not going to a brick and mortar edifice for 25 years. Okay. That's gathering information. You'll probably develop your memory, but I would question how well you develop your mind. And I'm not against education because I encourage my children to go to school as we know it. Now, he said the word education comes from the word educo. And he says it's derived from the Latin word educo, meaning to induce, to draw out, or to develop from within. An educated person is not necessarily one who has an abundance of general or specialized knowledge. An educated person is one who has so developed the faculties of their mind that they may acquire anything they want or its equivalent without violating the rights of others. An educated person is the one that knows how to go and get what they want out of life. Without being selfish. Oh. In sense, a researcher, somebody who, who, who knows what they're looking for and knows, that, knows how to go about finding Well, I think it. we should forever be involved in research because learning is a lifelong process. You never stop learning. Education means to draw from within. We're drawing on an infinite source. We've got deep reservoirs of talent and ability within us. We can learn to do anything. We have phenomenal powers. If we used our body like we used our mind, we'd probably just move our little finger. Okay. We, don't, we don't exercise our oh, mind enough. No, no. But we're not taught to. Kids in school should be taught, before the school year ever starts, to sit down, they should be given a blank report card, and get them to visualize the marks they want to get, and write their own report card. This is before school starts. First week in school. And then the teacher should say, now I want you just to concentrate on how to get that mark, and I don't want you to think of why you can't. And I want you to form the attitude that you're going to get it. Now, some people say that's not being realistic. That's being very realistic. That's following the success principles that go back 6,000 years in recorded history. That's how everything was accomplished. It's, it's not engaging in fantasy thinking. In Hell no. Thinking, in daydreaming, no. we talk about. No. Well, that's where all greatness comes from. Greatness comes from fantasy. I would imagine that when Edison first saw the light bulb, he was fantasizing. But he kept fantasizing, and he built it into a theory, and then he built it into an image, and then he built it into a fact. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, it was a fantasy to think of going to the moon. Mm -hmm. We've been up there with cars, playing golf. If you want another amazing clip of a young Les Brown, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream, because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it.